Here we go. Hello. This is a, um, a rocket mass stove. It's, I'm just giving it its first fire test before I cover it with uh, a clay and sand cob, which is like uh, acts as a big storage brick. The beautiful thing about these stoves is that they emit finally out of the chimney just CO2 and, uh, and water vapour. I'm using it to heat this greenhouse. Well, I don't actually heat the greenhouse. I just like to, uh, if we have a threat of frost, then um, then it won't damage any of the really young plants. This is where I propagate my young stuff. In the lines on uh, permis.com, I understand that people have difficulty lighting these sometimes, so I've made a small adaptation this on the horizontal uh, fire run this cap comes off now if I stuff some straw and some twigs into into the top here and then take this cap and put it on the top I can light the fire from under here and it draws really really well and as soon as it's a light I I take the cap off of the top here and put it on the back. Now, you see these pieces of wood? This is just really crap pallet wood. Uh, it's really, really old. It's been out in the elements for however long. This has been burning in here for about 20, 25 minutes. There's a small piece of almond wood that has been in there more than half an hour. You've got a really loads and loads of heat already. So your draft's going down? Yeah. The draft is going down, down, yeah. And the whole thing, I'm amazed with how little fuel. On permis.com, they estimate that these things use 15 to 20% of um, the equivalent of a conventional wood-burning mm -hmm. stove. Okay. They're large, but if you've got a large space to fill, you can make them a lot smaller, of course. But good for a work, a good for a workshop though, or a big shed, or yeah, great for a workshop or a big really? shed. Apparently, people are burning them in the United States in cities that have got um, a ban on using carbon fuels. Mm -hmm. um, See, so you get no smoke because everything because of what is the uh, secondary burning system in here you get no no pollution whatsoever really uh, so you get no smoke everything is burned you get no tar no smoke it's a good idea have the these pipes going up here down through through this core are insulated with clay and perlite um, moistened and this is the secondary burn unit. It comes up here, comes out here, and then down through a, a hole here into this pipe. That's that's okay. where all the fire flow goes. So you've got a long, gentle yeah. lump on there. This gets covered with. So this will be this will be covered later. That will be covered. Like a heat that'll be, that'll be covered like a big heat storage brick. Yeah. Which apparently they're still warm 12 hours after you stopped finish. You finish burning fuel. So by the time it comes at the end of that chimney, it's pretty cool by then. Yeah. 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 Go it's put, pretty, go it's pretty go, cool. Go put your hand on there then just to show the folks how cool it is. Which means all the heat staying in the place rather than going out all the, the heat outside. Staying in the place. You can't put your hand on the top of here. I'm thinking about just having a big clay dish on the top of here, putting a pot of whatever in there. <laughs> put the dog's food on let, there. Letting it cook inside a clay dish or put a clay dish with a lid on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no point in uh, having unused fuel. <laughs> I'd like okay. to give the guy who's, whose idea this is credit. So Ernie and Eric are Wisner, or Wisner, mm -hmm. and that's their web address. And they sell the plans for these things, so, you know, you can get it from him. 
So if you've got some space and you want to do something different and interesting. And save a lot of money into the bargain. And save a lot of money. Make yeah. it a place warm. Yeah. Thank you very much, Martin. Right. Nice one. Finally, one last thing. You cannot use Portland cement, normal cement, in the construction of these. I have bought a refractory cement and there are various types to withstand various temperatures. The locals in this part of the world would have used sand and white clay and hydraulic lime uh, as, as a mixture to use in domed bread ovens to hold the bricks together that wouldn't deteriorate etc etc. Um, it's much easier buying refractory refractory cement mm -hmm. so uh, yeah be warm don't use normally cement Thank so you. so will you render the whole block after oh yeah the, the whole the whole thing's going to be covered in cob e even this so it looked like a bread and sort of thing yeah you, yeah you can, like adobe you know that's what mm -hmm. cob is it's yeah. an adobe but cob usually has uh, straw in it there won't be any straw in this okay yeah sand and sand and clay local red clay from a from um, a pottery uh, mm. nearby but I suppose I could have used just the even soil from outside there's so much clay in it. <laughs> true yeah. yeah okay thank you cheers